Hello and welcome to Words 2010 Table of Contents. Today's lesson, how to format a two-column table of contents. Now, formatting a two-column table of contents is really pretty easy and it's really pretty quick. First thing we need to do, go up to our Home tab and turn on our paragraph markers. Give that a left click and then slide on over to the side here and we need to turn on our ruler. Okay. First thing, take a look at your general layout. Okay. Are your columns the way you want them? Are they wide enough? Or are, do you want more space in between? Uh, how about the margins? If you decide that you want more or less space in between your columns, just left click one time on your one time on your table of contents slide your mouse all the way up until it turns to the double arrow slide your double arrows over just a little bit and drag okay this will see how we got some more space in between our columns okay then left click on your table of contents right click and then go to update field give that a click go update entire table and click OK now what this does is it tells Word ignore the entire table of contents you currently have go back through the document and reinsert your table of contents with the new column settings or your new margin settings okay the rest of formatting a table of contents is pretty easy. It all uses the same technique. I'm going to zoom in here real close so we can you know, get a better view of things. That's right. If you want to change or adjust your font type, your font size, if you want bold, italic, underline, maybe you want to change the spacing in between the lines, maybe you want to adjust the... Uh, uh, the indentation. You use the exact same technique for each and every one of these. Find and select the entire first instance of that particular heading that you want to change. For example, this was heading one. Okay, just select the whole thing, including the P, right click, and then do something to it. We're going to change this to, let's say, Verdana, and we'll bump it up to, uh, let's say, oh, 14 points, and make it bold. And make it italic, too. Why not? All right. Now, you notice every other instance of our heading ones, all right, the leaping lizards, all right, the cats, okay, every one of those change to the uh, uh, Verdana bold italic, you know, and the point size. If you want to change your indentation, you do the exact same thing, except pick on the next uh, heading. The first instance of that heading, okay, select the whole thing, including the P, change the indentation, do, all right, right click, go down to paragraph, right here where it says indentation, left, the box will be filled in with the current indentation make the number smaller the indentation becomes less make the number bigger the indentation becomes more right now I'm gonna bump it up to 0 0.2 click OK and you notice our indentation here has become greater let's say we want to uh, increase the spacing in between our lines maybe we want uh, swimming fish to be a little more separate from the rest Again, select the whole, the, whoops, don't do that, <laughs> is select the very first line, okay, right click, and let's go back to paragraph, adjust our spacing, let's say we want more space afterwards, uh, let's give it, oh, let's bump it up to 18 points, <laughs> let's, yeah, let's go back to 18 points, okay, single spacing, click OK, Pow. Now each one, like leaping lizards, the cats, now has more space after it. If we want to adjust the space before, we just reverse the product, go right click, go to paragraph, go to spacing, go to before, increase that. Let's make that 18. I'm going to drop this down to uh, 6. Let's do that. Okay. Now, 
Aha, there we go, that's a little better. Do you see how the spacing has automatically adjusted itself? Okay. Now, the last thing that you're going to want to do after you have got the, the fonts and the indentation just the way you want, the last thing you want to do is balance these co the columns. You notice how dogs really should go up here at the top. Okay, now we do that using a column break. Okay, what you do is go down here to the like like the very last section or the very bottom of where you want your column to end right in between here right in between the number page number and the paragraph marker and hit enter okay you do this specifically for spacing purposes now once you're there go up to page layout give that a click go to breaks and then put in column break give that a click pow now we notice yeah there's our table of contents here let's make that bigger uh, let's bump that up to oh let's go for Donna make that 18 uh, bold italic and let's underline it there we go that looks a little better if you note now notice at the bottom you see these two are exact these are exact alright if you notice that the top they're not exactly lined up correctly select the very first paragraph marker of your secondary column click format painter come over here to the first paragraph marker and make certain that those two's formatting match all right and that should level that will level both of your column tops <laughs> okay well, other than that, uh, let's click home. Let's turn off our paragraph markers. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, there we go. We have formatted, and I've shown you how to use the formatting for formatting a two-column table of contents. I hope you learned a lot, and please enjoy the rest of the day.